What's up guys, it's the Apex Hound and welcome to my Sony predictions and preview E3 video basically. I done one for EA, Bethesda and Ubisoft about a week ago or so and uh, you guys seem to like it so I was going to do one for Sony anyway and uh, we're going to jump into all the games that are going to be coming up in the conference and talk them, talk through them and then I'm going to give you my predictions as well. If you want to join the Discord as well, I have a Discord for the channel. Uh, we're going to be talking about games and shit all through E3. And uh, on Twitter as well, I'll be doing I'll be doing live streams for it. So, yeah, Discord and Twitter, links in the description, all that shit. But let's get into the video for Sony. So I'm going to start off with uh, the games that we know are coming. Uh, and I'm going to talk about what I think we're going to see from them. And how excited I am for them. Because Sony's conferences the last few years have been phenomenal. Uh, the la last year was one of my favorite E3 conferences of all time, 2016. The amount of just, like the whole way through the conference, I was just like, holy shit, this is awesome. Literally the entire way through the, sorry, that's my Apple Watch. Um, someone talking to me about the Tiger DUI. <laughs> Tiger Woods got a DUI. Uh, but we're going to start off with Detroit Become Human. That's honestly one of my most hyped games uh, now, I would say it's probably in my top three most anticipated games upcoming. And I, I seriously can't wait for that one. I love Heavy Rain. I love Beyond Two Souls. I only played them uh, last year. So, I did. Uh, sorry, I had played Heavy Rain. I only played Beyond Two Souls last year. And I really enjoyed it as well. I, I seen a lot of hate for Beyond Two Souls. So, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as Heavy Rain. I played through Heavy Rain again on my channel. That's why I said that. But I had played Heavy Rain before. Uh, but I really love Beyond Two Souls just as much as Heavy Rain, if I'm being honest. So yeah, I think Detroit Become Human looks absolutely awesome. We've got some really cool trailers for it now. The one with the Jennifer Lawrence character. And the one with, uh, what was his name again? The one where he's like, you lied to me. You lied to me. That one was beautiful. That trailer was fucking awesome. That was one of the best done trailers that you could have right there, I think. It was phenomenal. Last year's E3. And uh, I think we're going to get some actual real footage from the game now. Like, they're going to actually show us playing through the game. Like, a, a demo, maybe for 5 to 10 minutes. We're going to get a demo section of Detroit Become Human. And I think that's going to be coming out early 2018. Uh, that I think they're going to give us a release at E3 of early 2018. Uh, so, can't wait for that one. Detroit Become Human. Going to be a banger. Maybe it comes out this year. I don't think so, though. I don't think that's going to be uh, Sony's fall title. But maybe, who knows? So another game that we know is coming, Death Stranding. Uh, so I thought we'd talk about Detroit and Death Stranding and all the games we know are coming first, and then I'll get into my predictions. But Death Stranding, I think, is still a ways off. Uh, are we going to see gameplay? I'm not so sure if we're going to see gameplay. Uh, I hope we do, but I think we're going to get at least another trailer. Maybe we get a small smidge of like what the world is going to be like and what the game is going to be about. Because really, from those two trailers, we have no fucking clue. We have a lot of conspiracy theories, but we really don't know what the game is going to be like at all. So I think we'll get more of a sense of what Death Stranding will be like. I still don't think that's coming till late 2018, so I don't think we'll get a release date on Death Stranding just yet. But let me know if you guys think differently, if you think that that's coming sooner. I just don't think so. I think that game is a while off. It hasn't been in development too, too long. And he said himself, I think, that it's, it's a while off. So God of War is another one that is uh, coming relatively soon i think that could either come out late this year but I, I i honestly think that could be alongside detroit become human and being an early 2018 title and they'll have two uh so god of war looks amazing i've played god of war 3 i I'd never played the first two but i played god of war 3 on ps4 the remastered version and i really really enjoyed it but this one seems to be taking a different turn they seem to be evolving the series and making this now into a much bigger scale game and it looks to be more my style i would say from what they're doing here it looks more like an uh like an action adventure game rather than what they were doing before which kind of hack and slash you know so i think uh, it, it could be a, it could be really really good uh, but it could also be but from what i've seen like the game looks great it could also be a little bit of a disappointment for fans of the god of war if it is too too different from the originals but it seems to be like taking a different turn for sure and i i think it's going to be better off for it personally uh, let me know what you guys think on that one we're going to talk about days gone next so that's detroit become human death stranding 
God of War, Days Gone. These are all fucking awesome games. They all look so good, man. I really am just so hyped for Sony's conference as well to see some more of these games. Days Gone, I think we get a release date, and I think that's definitely coming this year. I think that might be as soon as uh, August and as late as October. I can't see it coming out too, too late this year. I think that's going to be this year for sure. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be really fucking good. We're going to get another gameplay demo from a different section, I imagine, or another trailer with the release date for Days Gone. Maybe we won't see too much more on it. Maybe they'll hold back uh, on showing us too much more. They did show us a lot of the gameplay already. So uh, maybe they'll show us a trailer, a story trailer, uh, get us more clued in on that, and then give us a release date at the end of the trailer. That's what I think is going to happen, and I think it's going to be, I'm going to say, now that... Now that I thought it was going to be August before, but now that Uncharted The Lost Legacy is end of August, I think this game is going to come out uh, somewhere between October, October, November kind of range. I think that's going to be Sony's fall title along with maybe one other. But I, I think definitely that that will be coming out this year, late this year, days gone, trailer, release date. So just a couple more games to touch on. That we know are coming before I get into my prediction side of the Sony conference. I think this is going to be a great conference for sure. Uh, I think there's going to be uh, obviously some Last of Us 2 stuff. But I'm not sure there will be too too much of it. Because I really don't think that game is coming out too soon. I think maybe mid to late 2018 for The Last of Us 2. Definitely not this year like some people have been saying. I don't think it's coming out this year. I'd be hyped as fuck if it was coming out this year. But I can't see it coming out this year alongside Days Gone, alongside Uncharted The Lost Legacy. I really, I can't see that. I think it's mid to late 2018 for sure. Uh, but I'm incredibly hyped for it. Maybe we get a gameplay trailer for The Last of Us 2. Maybe there's some new improvements there. And we get to see some of that stuff. Or maybe we get another story trailer with a release date. But I don't think we're ready to get a release date for The Last of Us 2 yet. I think it's just a little bit too far off to be giving us a release date and then maybe postponing it in the future. So I don't think we get a release date, but I think we do see something on The Last of Us 2 at the Sony conference. I think that's a given. That's not much of a prediction, but I will move on and talk about Spider-Man now as well. Now, Spider-Man, I don't know about the release date because people, a lot of people before were saying 2017, but I don't think that's coming out in 2017 anymore. The way things are going, maybe they could surprise us and Spider-Man comes out late 2017 but i think it'll probably come out maybe alongside the movie when's the spider-man movie coming out okay so spider-man homecoming is coming out july 7th so there's no way that spider-man is that close surely maybe spider-man comes out late this year though i'm gonna i'm gonna go out on a limb and say spider-man this year 2017 uh is coming out alongside days gone as the the fall title for sony and then they'll have uncharted uh days gone and then spider-man maybe so that would be three fucking big blockbusters, and I, I would be hyped as fuck for that, because they have a lot of games coming out. Some of them have to be coming out this year, surely. Uh, they can't all be coming out in 2018, you know what I mean? So I think, yeah, I think Spider-Man, this year, we get a gameplay demo trailer at E3 with a release date. That would be dope. So another game from a different genre, uh, genre, Gran Turismo Sport, I think, has to come out uh either late this year or early next year uh because like gran turismo sports been developing for quite some time now and we've seen quite a bit on it i think if that comes out this year that'd be great I i'm super hyped for gt sport it looks great from what i've seen so far first first i was very skeptic about gt sport i didn't like the look of it when i first saw it but as time progressed and development went on i and they showed more of it i actually started to think it looked great and saw some stuff that I really liked within the videos and the gameplay and I think that that could be a hit we'll see Gran Turismo always sells a lot of units you know it's a it's a big big franchise bigger than most people think so Gran Turismo definitely gonna sell you know five million plus copies I think so that could be a big one for Sony and that could come out maybe this year or early next year can't wait to see we'll hopefully get some some insight on when that's coming out at E3, and I think we will. And we'll move on now into my prediction side of things. So, these are ones like that uh, may not, may or may not happen, but uh, I think possibly could happen. That's what a prediction is, you fucking idiot. <laughs> but yeah, I just, these are kind of ones going out on the limb that are probably not too likely, but I'm going to say them anyway. Uh, one is a sequel to The Order 1886, Ready at Dawn. 
gonna be working on a sequel, I think. Maybe we'll see it at E3. Maybe we'll get a reveal trailer. That'd be fucking dope. Because I really like the Order 86. I think it's underrated for sure. Uh, they just... It was a little bit short. And the gameplay was kind of a little bit generic maybe. But I really dig the story. And I thought that... The fucking ending was super cool as well, and it left room for a sequel, like it was begging for a sequel with that ending. So I'm hoping we get a, a sequel to The Order 1886, and if not, hopefully we'll see a new IP from Ready at Dawn uh, in a similar fashion. Uh, a game with a similar kind of story narrative driven focus, because uh, they're, they're lacking these days. We need more story games, people. Uh, another prediction we have, so that's the order 1887 maybe, <laughs> but uh, uh, that would be awesome. I'd be super hyped for that. Uh, my next prediction is Bloodborne 2. I think we're gonna see that at the Sony conference. I I I'm I'm not totally sure on this one. I think it could happen, but I also think they could save this for maybe PSX. It's not like a uh, like it, it would be a hyped announcement, but it's not like a major game to the casual audiences So I think they could save that one for PSX possibly if that's not going to be coming out for a while uh, So either we see a reveal trailer for Bloodborne 2 with not too much or uh, Or else we don't see it at all and we see it at PSX. That's my prediction for Bloodborne 2 I, I'm not sure on that one I'm kind of a little bit skeptical of seeing Bloodborne 2 at the conference next one This one is really going out in the limb, but I'm gonna say Spyro the Dragon we see Spyro the Dragon remaster. We seen Crash. Crash is coming. This no 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 sorry next month. Just we're nearly there. We're nearly into the month when the Crash is back. The Crash has been revived. Crash Bandicoot is back. Maybe we see Spyro revived at Sony's conference as well. Uh, another prediction that I saw from Maximus Primus, which will be awesome. I don't think this is going to happen, but I just wanted to mention it. Was a Resistance collection. That would be dope. I'd be so hyped for a Resistance collection on PS4. Uh, I fucking love the Resistance games. Uh, but I don't think that'll happen, honestly. That would be sick, though. But I just wanted to shout out to Mac for the Resistance prediction. That was one of my uh, one of my favorite games. So, the one of my favorite series, sorry. Uh, I think we'll see some Hellblade as well. Maybe get a release date for that. What the hell is my dog doing? I think that might be coming out sooner rather than later. Uh, it's not, like, too, too hyped up of a game. But I think it looks cool. Touches on mental health issues. Uh, it looks kind of dark and twisted. So, uh, yeah, I think it looks like a cool game. And we might see some of that. Maybe a quick little trailer with a, a release date for that game as well. Uh, next, we're moving on. I think we're going to see DLC. Story DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, this would make me so, so happy. Horizon Zero Dawn is easily, I mean, easily my bet, my favorite game of the year. And I would say it's up there in my top three, maybe I would say second only to Uncharted 4 in the last three years that I've been playing games. So it, it's definitely a favorite of mine. I absolutely love the game. I think it had everything that you want from a game. Great gameplay, fun gameplay, a really deep and meaningful story, I think. And it was told beautifully. The way they told it, I think, was phenomenal. And I really did enjoy that game immensely. And I'd love some story DLC just to, to tide me over. Because their next game is going to be a long while away. But you have to imagine they're doing a sequel to this game with how well it's been received. And I think it's sold pretty well as well. So I think you, you have to imagine they're doing a second one. And they're probably already uh, working on that right now. Uh, but we won't see that reveal for a while. Because obviously that's not going to be coming out for... A few years yet, you would imagine. But yeah, that's uh, another prediction of mine is Horizon Zero Dawn Story DLC. Uh, I think that could uh, that could happen and we'll get that maybe during the summer when things are kind of dry. Uh, as they sometimes are around July. Uh, but uh, July is only the only month really that seems dry for games so far. We have June, kind of we have a few games. Mostly racing games, so if you're not into racing games, June is kind of dry I guess. But then August is absolutely fucking lit with games, and it looks great. So I only have a couple more predictions. I don't want to hold you guys too, too long. Uh, one of them is we'll see Sucker Punch's new IP revealed. Uh, I think Sucker Punch are working on a new IP, so we'll, I think we'll see that revealed. We'll get a reveal trailer for that. I don't know if we'll get a release date or anything, but we'll get a reveal. See what that's all about. Uh, it has to be. A, I think it's a superhero-focused game like Infamous, so maybe we'll see... 
uh, something fucking cool there. Because I really do like Sucker Punch's games. I love Infamous. I'm a big fan of it. I actually really like the Infamous Second Son and the DLCs for as, as well. But I feel like we definitely need to see something new from them rather than just another Infamous. And I think they can pull off whatever they're going to try and do really well. And I can't wait to see what it is. I'm hyped to see that. Uh, we'll get a reveal trailer. No release date or anything, as I said. But uh, we'll see Sucker Punch's new IP at least. Right, last two predictions. Uh, one of them is kind of just a really out there one that I think uh, probably won't happen. But just on the off chance, I think maybe we see Tomb Raider revealed. Shadow of the Tomb Raider revealed at Sony's conference. I think the developer has already confirmed that they're not going to show Shadow of the Tomb Raider this E3. But we will be seeing it soon. So uh, maybe we'll see it later in the year, a reveal trailer for that. But I just thought maybe that would be crazy if... Because, you know, Microsoft had the early exclusive rights for uh, the last Tomb Raider. Maybe Sony uh, could get the reveal trailer. Obviously, I think it would be, this is going to be a multi-platform game. I don't think it's going to have uh, timed exclusivity on either platform this time around. But I think uh, maybe we could see that. I, I don't think it's likely, but it was just one I kind of was going to throw out there randomly. And the other one, which I actually do think is going to happen, I think uh, it has a high possibility of happening. That's We're going to see Red Dead... Uh, two trailer reveal like a full trailer reveal uh, on Sony's conference because I think that was meant to happen before but there was some complications and everything uh, so I think we get a full trailer reveal and that's kind of why they done that Twitter thing which kind of seemed a little bit weird to be honest uh, the way they just kind of revealed it via Twitter pictures but it did end up being cool and causing a lot of hype but I think that they met they were meant to release that uh, or announced that rather at Sony's conference 2016 and I think we could get the trailer reveal here at E3 for Red Dead Redemption 2 and Maybe we'll see it. Maybe we won't but I think we will. What do you guys think? Is that an out there one? Are we gonna see it? Uh, let me know what you think of your other my other predictions and any predictions you might have any ones that I missed out on I'd be interested to hear but thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it uh, Check out my other shit that I'm doing at the moment Dragon Age Origins walkthrough. I'm going old school with that and uh, I'm doing some other cool stuff as well at the moment. So check it out and I'll see you guys for more videos very soon. Peace out.